Chicago will no longer use the subminimum wage tip structure for tipped employees like bartenders and wait staff. Instead, the city council decided today that tipped workers will receive the same minimum wage as the rest of the city. CBS 2 Sabrina Franza was at City Hall for the vote. And Sabrina, there are two very different sides to this issue. There are, on the one hand, those who support the end to subminimum wage argue that tipped workers deserve a living wage, regardless of how much patrons decide to tip them. Opponents will argue the new system risks businesses already trying to stay afloat and that consumers will tip less as a result of higher bills imposed by increased labor costs. A celebratory cheer, one fair wage. In Chicago, that means starting next July and over the following five years, workers who receive tips on top of the $9 subminimum wage salary will start to receive a base salary of more money. Each year, their salary will increase until it's at the standard Chicago minimum of $15.80 an hour. Right now, that rule is that employers should compensate subminimum wage workers in the event that their tips don't get them to that minimum. Minimum wage. Those supporters will tell you that is not what all employers do. Some bad actors do not do that compensation. So this new policy will mean tipped workers make minimum wage with tips on top. Many who are against this plan, including the Illinois Restaurant Association, argue that this plan could force businesses to reduce their workforce to save on labor and could mean consumers tip less because the cost to dine might go up. That might mean their overall take home pay is less. This vote ruled in favor of abolishing the subminimum wage, though the vote was not unanimous. My constituents there feel that this is going to hurt more than it's going to help our local economy. When we talk about building safer communities, we're talking about folks having a minimum wage. That's right. When we're talking about economic development and viability in our communities, we are talking about making sure we have a fair wage. Again, this will not start to take effect until next July and will phase in over the course of five years. So restaurants and bars especially have time to make those changes. In the newsroom, Sabrina Franza, CBS 2 News.